everybody, Jamie here, and we are but a week away from VidCon 2013. It's the biggest YouTube convention in the entire world. I had a blast last year, and this week I'm actually running around getting ready as I'm prepping to film two girl videos with some super special guest stars at VidCon. But all this hustling and bustling around for the convention has actually been kind of rough in this hot weather. I totally need a way to just cool down and relax, and there's no better way of doing that than with a satisfying summer treat. Get ready as I show you how to make your own banana raspberry creamsicle. Let's do it, girl. I am so excited to present to you Do It Girl's first ever food DIY. Thank you to everybody who made this suggestion in the comments below and on my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Totally got your message. For these creamsicles, you're first going to need a blender or a food processor. If you don't have either of those, no problem. You can actually do it by hand. It's just going to take a little longer and be a bit of a workout. <laughs> you're also going to need a creamsicle mold, which I got at the grocery store, a liquid measuring cup and tablespoon, honey, a lemon or lemon juice, two cups of raspberries, one to two cups of yogurt, and of course, bananas. A pound's worth should be more than enough. You wanna make sure that they're nice and ripe or soft. Actually, a couple of brown spots is a good sign because that means these are going to be nice and mushy for blending. Okay, let's start the Bananarama. Step one. The first step is to puree your bananas. Throw all of your nanners into your blender and blend until smooth. Step two. The next step is to add in your yummy yogurt. I'm going with a cup of banana yogurt and a cup of raspberry yogurt in order to match my fruit flavors, but vanilla could work really well here too. Step three. The next step is to add in a tablespoon or two of lemon juice. The reason for adding lemon juice is to add that sour taste to the sweetness of your fruit in order to give your creamsicle that delicious sweet tart flavor. Practically speaking, lemon juice also helps prevent oxidation and it'll keep your raspberries that super pretty bright red color. As you know, your bananas, raspberries, and yogurt are all pretty sweet, so it's up to you on whether or not you want to add a little bit more sweetener for that dessert-like taste. Feel free to blend your mixture at this point in order to give it a taste test. However, I've already developed my recipe, so I'm going to be throwing in a tablespoon of honey. You can use any sweetener here, like sugar or agave. I'm just a honey nut. Cheerio. Had to do it. Once your ingredients are in, go ahead and lightly blend them together. Step five, remove about one third of your mixture and place it to the side. We'll be using that later. The fun part about this too is that it's not like you're baking so you can't eat the eggs, you can't eat the, you know, you can eat all these things because it's yogurt and bananas and stuff. So feel free to snack while you're going. Step six, grab the majority of your raspberries and blend them with your remaining mixture. Then throw in the rest and barely blend them so that you have pureed raspberries along with some raspberry chunks. Kind of like pulse it, I guess. If you want, save a few whole raspberries for the next step, which is to take your mixture and turn it into a creamsicle. Fill up your popsicle molds two thirds of the way with your raspberry mixture and then top them off with your smooth mixture. This will keep your raspberry chunks from falling off the bottom of your creamsicle if it starts to melt. And it looks pretty cool. For a fun touch, throw a whole raspberry or two into your mold to discover later as you're eating your creamsicle. Step eight, pop your molds into the freezer and you're almost done. Your creamsicles will take several hours to freeze, so this is a really good DIY to do in the morning so that you can enjoy them by the afternoon. Or it's really good to do at night to enjoy them in the morning. Really any time is a really good time to make a creamsicle. <laughs> Ugh, I have been waiting five hours just so I can enjoy this creamsicle. Just kidding, I made an extra set last night. Crafting magic! Step nine. All that's left to do is to pull your creamsicle from the mold. If they don't come out easily, just warm up the mold with your hand and lightly tug on the handle until it comes out. You can also pour lukewarm water on the bottom of the mold for a couple of seconds to loosen it up. And we've broken the mold. Get it? Because we literally took it out of the mold, but we're also doing something on Duocurl that's never been done before. I'm just kidding. What type of creamsicles did you make? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com. Delicious. Okay, so back to VidCon. It's going to be this August 2nd and 3rd in Anaheim, California. Girl.com is going to be there along with all stars such as Smosh, Smosh Games, Teen.com, and Clever TV, just to name a few. We're all part of this huge network called Alloy Digital, and we're going to have our own Alloy booth at VidCon. 
I had such a great time last year, and thinking of all the fun I'm going to have this year is making me go bananas. Speaking of which, have you noticed how many banana references that those channels have been making lately? You know, how like we just made banana creamsicles here on girl.com? Well, that ain't by banana accident. That's because our code word for VidCon 2013 is banana. All this is to say, if our alloy team catches you at VidCon with anything banana, from carrying a banana, to drawing a banana on your cheek, to committing 100% with a banana suit, you're going to receive some super cool swag. A t-shirt, a signed hat, even the chance to appear in a video with some really cool alloy peeps, like Ian and Anthony from Smash, or Haley and me from Girl. That's right, I just called myself a cool peep. That just happened. So come on out and go bananas. I'll see you there. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to catch more amazing DIYs like these banana raspberry creamsicles. They're amazing. Make sure that there's a blade in your blender, otherwise, uh, you know, whoops. <laughs> All that's left to do is to pull your creamsicle from the mold. Oh, that was easy. So it's a really good DIY to do in the morning to enjoy by the afternoon. Or to do an...